Soldier Toad got a new secret level with this recent Weight of the World update. This level, much like all secret levels, is really nothing like the normal parts of the game, instead of being a fishing simulator. So I, your resident ranking and tier list person, will now don my Bass Pro Shop hat and rate the fishes you are able to catch in this little fishing hole deep within hell. So with no more delay, let's get right into this. <laughs> Dropping down into this dad haven, throwing out your reel in the first body of water you find, chances are you find yourself catching the first fish on our list. The funny stupid fish, friend, this simply overly common fish isn't the best catch, but at bare minimum it does have something going for it, being so unimaginably dumb that it is able to smile despite it being quite deep within hell. And sometimes, honestly, a simple fish is all you really need. I think this fish is a solid 5 out of 10. I'm sure if it was the only thing you brought home in your pail, it wouldn't be that great of a thing, but it is better than nothing. Next we have the other fish that's extremely simple to catch, and that this is likely the one you catch first if you didn't catch the prior one. This is the Peter fish. This fish is very cat-like in appearance and juxtaposes the prior fish by instead of being insanely dumb, it is insanely smart. Despite its intellect though, it loves cats and lets itself get caught by fishers in order to seem nice. So it's got the brain, but it lacks self-preservation skills. Maybe that's some sort of commentary about a fish that lives in hell. Overall, I'd rate this one a 6 out of 10. Deeper in the lake, we can find another fish, this being the trout. This fish prefers the deeper waters and is a bit larger than the prior two were. And honestly, is the only normal fish one can find within hell? With this being the exact same fish we know from Earth. Uh, this alone likely makes it the most edible fish in here without any random hell quirks, so I'd rate this simple fish a 9 out of 10. To catch some more fishes, we will need to get creative, migrate over to the waterfall, and peek behind it to reveal a cave. It is inside this cave that one can find two more fishes. The first, caught by just throwing your rod out there with no treats, results in catching the migratory chomper. This native Pennsylvania prefers the deep and the dark damp places. This combined with its strange appearance and worm-like build, I honestly doubt it tastes anything good. If anything, it probably thinks you taste good. So I'm going to go with a 4 out of 10 for this one. Not the worst, but not a huge fan. However, if you throw bait in this same cave, you will lure another fish out of hiding. This being the metal fish. This demon stone-eating monster is certainly looking more like something I'd expect out of a hellfish than anything we've seen thus far. Its coating in metal likely result from its absurd diet of rocks, honestly makes eating it a quite bad idea. I don't know what part of this would even be edible, so I'm going to go with a 1 out of 10 for this one. From out of the waterfall, we can head over to the nearby stream to catch a fish that likes to live life on the edge. The bomb fish is exactly what it sounds like, it's a fish that explodes when threatened and is quite literally a bomb. Its explosive nature would need to be diffused for consumption. But I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. It might have a great explosive taste if you're able to prepare it correctly. Honestly, think akin to the puffer fish. Overall, I think it wouldn't exactly be the bomb, so I'm going to go with a 5 out of 10 for this one. However, using our newfound catch, we can throw it at some rocks to give us a chance to access another area within our little fishing hole. This one um, more classically resembles hell. Uh, in this hell, we can throw our lure and catch a quite literal eyeball. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but I don't think an eyeball is the best kind of fish in any real way. I think it's actually kind of the worst fish possible. Uh, I'm going to go with a 0 out of 10 for this one. I don't think it's very edible. I don't really think it has any traits going for it that, that would make it higher than that. Moving deeper into this hell cave, we can jump into the water, land all the way in the bottom, and we can find another demon spawn fish. This frog-like fish is quite bizarre, hailing from blood moons far away. I've been told by others that frogs taste good. However, its decision to submerge itself within blood may make it a bit more of a thicker metallic taste. And honestly, I don't really like thicker metallic tastes, so I can't recommend that. So, 4 out of 10 for me, not awful, but could go with a little less rusty taste to it. Moving out of the Hellspawn Cave, we can find our next fish in the nearby shack. Throwing our reel into the pan on the stove, we catch ourselves a stick fish. This fish is a literal stick. Uh, seeing how its description specifies, though, that it's both edible and farmable, it seems like quite the catch. Otherwise, why would these be specified? Why would people be farming something that's not edible if it doesn't taste at least a little bit good? I'm going to go with an 8 out of 10 on this stick. Um, I, I don't know why else you would farm something if it's edible and if it didn't taste good. I don't think people would farm it. 
So I'm going to give it a pretty high ranking and I'm going to say it's a pretty, pretty good fish. Next, by that shack, there's a fire. Throwing any normal fish into this fire, we can wear out some more advanced cooked fish. This cooked fish is quite the carnivore, eating the fish we throw into the flame before emerging for us to catch ourselves. It's specified in the journal as being sought after and being quite tasty, so I would say this is likely the best fish you can luck out and catch in within the depths of hell. Solid 10 out of 10 from me. Next to the fire, there's a well. Throwing our lore into it, we can catch the dope fish. This single brain organism can be found with an empty stare and can also be found in all other areas of hell outside this region where there is water. So by all other, I mean one, and that is specifically the levels with water in it. They're described as a symbol of good luck and are often found accidentally by heroes. I'd wager that catching the simple fish then is pretty good luck and it's just a good thing to do. So I'm going to go with an 8 out of 10 for this one. It's just something you, you want to catch this. I don't know how it would taste, but it's something you want to catch. It's a pretty good catch. Finally, our last fish hails from none other than Sweden. By making our way to the ocean, we may be able to catch a hold of a shark. This adorable carnivore, when not getting lost in comically large and confusing stores and eating Swedish meatballs, seems to pass some time within the literal depths of hell. Catching this huddable friend is highly suggested and has been found to increase serotonin levels greatly. Honestly, an 11 out of 10 for the plushy fish. Now then, with that we've reviewed all the fishes within this oasis, so don your trucker hat and that I love fishes and I love trucks pin and drop down in the hell for the fishing trip of your life. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this and that's honestly all I've got for you today. This has been Christopher Beast and I hope to see y'all next time.